Greetings! In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a full factory restore reset on any Dell laptop computer. This particular model is an XPS Windows 10, but again, this method will work with 10, 11, 8, and 7. It just takes a different method with the older models. I want to show you how to do it from the login screen, and I want to show you how to do it when it's completely shut down. Now, at the end of this video, I'm going to tell you about a story where I bought a brand new Nissan Ultima car. I call her Ruby. I still have her. And from, I did that from selling used laptops out of my home. Okay, I'll tell you that at the end of this video. All right, so what you're going to do, this is primarily for the Windows 10 and 11 models. You can't really do this with the 7 and the 8s. It's going to be done from the power button right here. And, of course, you can't find your password. You forgot your password. So what you're going to do is you're going to hold down the Shift button, S-H-I-F-T, which on the keyboard, it's right down here. Shift is down here. And as you're holding that down, you're going to hover over the power button here on the right here. You're going to click on it, and you're going to hit reset. Okay, and then after you hit reset, it might ask you again, are you sure you want to do that? You say yes. While still holding down the shift button, you don't let go. Whatever you do, don't let go. And what it's going to do is it's going to take you to this screen, choose an option, and then what you, from here, you want to choose troubleshoot. And then you choose reset this PC. And then you have the choice to remove my files or keep my files. You can't ch choose keep my files because you forgot your password. All right, so you're going to have to choose remove everything. And again, you might have this option instead. Just choose fully clean the drive. And then it may give you this option where you just click reset. So on some of the Windows 11s, it has a white screen and it's a little bit different they'll have like the little columns on the left there it'll have a choice with reset it's pretty self-explanatory uh, when you get to that point you know how to do it just keep following the directions you should be good now how to do a full uh, reset from startup this is usually for the older models it can work from the, the newer models you just gotta be quick so what you want to do is when you start it up you're going to hold down the F12 or try tapping it. Pap, 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 pap. And then if it works, and this is when it's completely powered off and plugged in, if it works, it'll take you to this screen right here. Okay. If that doesn't work, try holding it down and doing it. If for whatever reason that doesn't, that doesn't work, try F8. Once try hitting it several times, and then once try it holding it down and see if that'll get you to it. All right. I hope you appreciate that. One thing, I was going to tell you about that story, okay? So it was after a divorce, and I was broke. I was in debt, about $5,000, and I lost my house, lost everything. It was very devastating, moved into an apartment, and I decided I'm just going to work like crazy. I bought a pickup truck. I started uh, delivering stuff around my town and you know, making $60 here and $70 here, and then I notice on eBay they had laptops for sale and I was like well I could repair laptops so I started buying laptops okay and this was like in the mid 2015 2014 started buying laptops and was able to fix them very cheaply sometimes 30 bucks 40 bucks and flip them in my city for about 150 200 I even started doing MacBooks where I was flipping them for a thousand uh, even used and so uh, I was making so much money that by the end of like six months to seven months, I had enough money to buy me a brand new vehicle. And of course, vehicles then didn't cost as much as they do now after the uh, high inflation. All right, so that's my story, and um, I uh, will see you on the next one. Make sure you subscribe. All right, thanks for watching.